everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'm very excited to show you this. The first, um, snapshot, if you want to call it that, or beta build, or alpha build, whatever you want to call it, it came out for Minecraft Pocket Edition today, and 0 0.14.0, and if you don't know what a beta build is, it's where, uh, you can basically just test the update before it comes out. Uh, I'll leave a dis uh, I mean, I'll leave a link in the description. This is only for Android at the moment. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they've announced that they won't do it on Apple, as far as I know. So let's get started. So as you can see, first of all, oh, oh by the way, this is an update review. Anyway, <laughs> as you can see by the bottom right corner, I'm kind of clicking it here. It's like uh, this is the language thing. Before there was just like a random little language option here, and it looked weird. But I'm pretty sure this is how it is on the PC version, so they made it more like the PC version. Um, on the bottom left, it doesn't show the version of the game anymore. If you can see, it says the copyright symbol and then Mojang space AB. Um, I'm not sure if it doesn't say the version of Minecraft because it says it at the top, as you can see. 0 0.14.0 off of Build 1 NVIDIA Shield Tablet K1. So maybe... That's why, I don't know if it'll be there in the full I mean, final release, so that you know what version it is. That doesn't matter too much, though. Um, another thing, so yeah, as I just mentioned, it says at the top the version, so. And then it says your tablet or phone name, and mine's an NVIDIA Shield tablet, K1. So, this is my experience of the game. Now, you might have different games, uh... I mean, uh, different tablets or phones or whatever you use. So, some bugs might happen for you that don't happen for me. So, try to go to Mojang.com and click on the thing that says how to report bugs. And um, if you need to report a bug or you think it's a bug, try to report it and they'll probably fix it. I've only been playing this for about a half hour, maybe an hour. And I found out a few bugs uh, already. It seems like so. Um, now on um, onto the play button. Oh, before we actually click play, as you can see, the play button, the options button, and the skins button are kind of spaced out now. Before they were like all together, they look like I'm pretty sure at least all together they look like one button and stuff. But yeah, I'm not sure if it was, I'm pretty sure it was like that before. Again, not that much of a difference. <laughs> Doesn't matter too much. So, I made this creative flat world just to test the update. So, I tested all of this stuff. It all works. Oh, and for some reason, this got set off. It's a spoiler for later. Anyway, as you can see, TNT minecarts were, in fact, added. And just blew up part of my demonstration. Doesn't matter too much. I could fix that. So, <laughs> here is the dropper. If you've seen my um, Minecraft Pocket Edition Redstone... Um, mod review for 0 0.13.0. You'll know I couldn't get some of the, Oh, no, I think I... Yeah, I got some of these things working, and this is how they work. Um, the real version of Minecraft, you click to open it, and you put your items in, like I did. Spits it out. Oh, oops. Yep, it spits it out. And, oh, wait. Oops, I'm in creative mode. Oh, it does show the numbers changing. All right, good. Anyway, so then you can pick them up. And as you can see, if you go into your survival inventory over here on the left side, another new feature, you can actually see your like your items. It's pretty cool. You can put armor on now. Uh, yeah, you, cr you can craft and stuff, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, next here we have a dispenser. I put some arrows in it just to test. It just shoots them out like a dispenser should. I'm not sure. Are fire chargers in yet? I don't think they are. Nope. I mean, I know they weren't in before this, but maybe the update added them. Doesn't look like it, though. Now, you saw how I could open this dispenser and the dropper. You might be wondering, can you open this chest? And the answer is yes. In creative mode, you can now open chests, chests, which makes things a lot easier, so you don't have to keep switching from creative and survival and stuff like that. And then the hopper also opens. You can either put an item in like that, put it above a chest, and it'll drop it into the chest. Or, you can go on top of it. Um, also, I, in creative mode, items that don't have a number above them, just go in your inventory. This is another bug. I think this is a bug. Your inventory, 
click on the survival inventory in the bottom left, and it shows how many of them are there. Like, so you can see 64 stone, dirt, etc. So, it looks like it, you only have one. But when you drop it, it'll actually drop 64. You can't really see there, but yeah. And it's slowly... That's another way to put things in a hopper, by the way. It's slowly draining through. And it will fill up this chest, and all of this will be gone. Next, we probably have one of the most important things of this update, actually, which is the repeater. So, some people might say it's not important. I think it is. Well, no, I don't think anyone will say it's not important, because it is important. You need it for a lot of advanced redstone things, and... Yeah, <laughs> so, this is it. Uh, if you don't know what it does, if you got a really long redstone circuit that goes really far out, like, it, does, it can't just keep going. You have to put a repeater, and the repeater continues it. Or you could set a delay like this. So if you watch this, I put it on three ticks or four. I don't know what it's called. But see, if you, you click on it to move it, just tap it. And so look, if, as you can see, there's a delay between like when this one turns on. It's like you turn it off, and that one turns off a second later. So that's how that works. Now the comparator, I'm really not sure how this thing works. I, I've never really used comparators, so I don't know what this is supposed to do. I think you can like light up. I mean, I'll power things from all three ways. I'm really not completely sure. I mean, all four ways or something. I'm not completely sure, though. It's a little bit confusing for me. Never really used them before or seen a use for them. Next year, we have probably one of the most, like, thi one of the things that people are looking forward to the most so they can make things like trampolines. As you can see here, I'm jumping on them. You also could have seen that in the the mod review for 0 0.13.0, but the thing that's better about these slime blocks not being the mod. So in the mod, no matter what, so you'd always walk around on these slime blocks and you'd just bounce, like, no matter what. Only, like, two blocks high. But here, they're, like, the re how slime blocks really should be, where the higher you go up, the higher you bounce, which is better than in that mod, because in the mod I showed you, the Redstone Plus mod, those, um, those slime blocks, you, it didn't matter. You could go from all the way up here, it was still only sending you up two blocks. So this is way better than how it was in that mod, obviously. Because this actually works how it should. And then when you stop bouncing, it's like you're on soul sand. I think it might be less than soul sand, actually. I mean, slower than soul sand. I don't know why I built it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This got blown up partially. Um, this was to show you guys item frames. So, an item frame, item frames are added if you don't know what they do, you put an item in them, and yeah, you can turn it to the side, and also they can power, I, I don't I think it works with the repeaters, I tried, but it works on comparators, the more you turn it, the redstone signal will change, so you can make like passcode locks and stuff, they're pretty cool for that reason. Okay, so next, here's our chest, I mean minecart chest, oh my game crashed there, hmm. Alright, well, that's a bug right there. Uh, wait, let me make sure it's still recording. Alright, yep, still recording. Okay. And it crashed again. Alright, so obviously there are some problems with this. Um, it seems like when you open a chest, you can't, like, hold down on the item if there's only one... Oh, you cannot hold down on the item if you want to, like, put the whole stack in. Huh. That's weird, so you have to put it in one at a... Whoa. I'm pretty sure... Wait, oh, I didn't test this one before. I think the chest minecart thing might be glitched. Let's test the hopper thing, because I know the hopper one was working. So that one doesn't seem to be working. I tested this one already, like I said. So let's just put an item into the hopper. Yep, that one works. You put it in here, and what it does is it moves the item into the chest, and it goes over the chest. So, pretty useful if you need to transfer items from one house to another. Have a railroad track or minecart track or whatever that sends it between each of the two places or more places, whatever you want. And this would be helpful too. The one thing about this is it's good because it can like put the stuff into the chest. This minecart and chest can't. But as you can see when I open it, you can store more items. And yeah, it just keeps crashing. So, I don't know why. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to go in the, I didn't mean to go in the block launcher. Alright, so... Yeah, it's really weird. So the hopper minecart chest works. The chest one does not. 
that's a bug. I don't know. Tell me in the comments below if the hopper, I mean the, the what's it called, the uh, chest, chest minecart works on your device. It might just be my tablet. Like I said, I've seen glitches in the past where they'll just like, some tablets or phones or whatever will work just fine and everything will be okay, but some of them have these weird glitches and the developers go and fix them, obviously. But yeah. So next, you have a TNT in the minecart. So if you didn't see, when I was making this track, I put this weird looking rail down. This is not a powered rail. As you can see in my inventory, here's a powered rail, here's an activator rail. So an activator rail does what it does. I mean, it does what it says it does. It activates things when you uh, go over it. Like, if you have a regular minecart, it can go over it. And, like, when it goes over it, it can activate redstone if there's redstone next to it. Stuff like that. So here, if you move the TNT minecart down, it activates the TNT. And boom. <laughs> there we go. It blows up. I also tested it over here to make sure it worked before the video started. I accidentally, accidentally broke some blocks here. I don't know why. And then this one somehow set off. Maybe a sheep ran into it or something. Something must have activated it. But yeah, that's it for build one. I mean, this is a pretty small update. It's pretty much just redstone things. The item frames and slime blocks are both... They can both be used in item. I mean, in, uh... What's it called? In redstone things. They're not... I don't think they're... They're not really, like, mainly redstone things, but... Most of the stuff in this update, but they can be, like, I think pretty much everything in this update, actually, can be used for redstone. So, that's really all this is. It just adds more redstone things. Uh, honestly, I was a little bit disappointed with it, because I know this stuff is cool, but I, I wanted it, but I kind of wanted a bigger update. Tell me what you guys think. I think it was a little bit, I don't know, I, I must have, like, overestimated this update. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot more stuff. I don't know. Maybe not. Let me check. Wait a second. I actually think there might be one more thing. Oh, yeah. Witches. I'm pretty sure there weren't. Oh, wait. I gotta turn my difficulty up. I'm like 90% sure there weren't witches before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're new. Yeah, yeah. Because they have that weird hat texture. I think they're new. I think so. Uh, any other new mobs? Now that. Look at it to make sure. Uh, <laughs> that's a cool laugh. Not sure if that's on PC. Yeah, I think that's all. But good thing I caught that last one. So yeah, there are witches now. I'm pretty, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's a new feature. Uh, I don't see anything else here by just looking at it. Um, I'm gonna look through one more time just to be sure. Doesn't look like there's anything new. Oh, the enchanted books look a little bit weird. I don't know if that's a new texture or if it's just glitched out. I think it's glitched out. It doesn't look too good, honestly. And they're not like that on PC or Xbox. Oh, and one is in my inventory in my hot bar. If you look on the bottom, it doesn't look like that. So I think that should be fixed eventually. It has these weird, like if you can see, it has these uh, yellow dots around the texture in the inventory. It doesn't matter too much, but I think it's a bug it needs to be fixed. It doesn't matter too much. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling on now. Uh, sorry about that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and like for more. Let's hope the beta builds in the future. Don't just fix bugs, but also add some new features, possibly. Um, and I'll make a new video if there's a new... Well, if and when there's a new beta build. Because I'm sure there's going to be another beta build within probably the next week or two. Usually there's about one a week, so... Keep looking for it, and uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, check in the description. There's going to be a link to the beta thing. All you do is, at least this happens on my tablet. I'm pretty sure it should work everywhere. I'm pretty sure I've done it with previous build using uh, my brother's Galaxy tablet. Pretty sure it works the same way. What you do is, you go onto that website. I can show you, or uh, I won't bother right now, but you go. Actually, no, because it'll show my email and stuff. <laughs> but you go onto the website link that'll be in the description. Once you go onto that, you click on that link and click on the thing that says become a tester. You have to be on an Android tablet. Apple, sorry, doesn't work. So you click become a tester. Then you just, once it says like you scroll down, there should be like a check mark that says you are now a tester or something like that. Then you click your home button, go to the Google Play Store. Um. 
and then you search Minecraft PE, Minecraft Pocket Edition, whatever you want to search for Minecraft Pocket Edition to come up. Click on the app, uh, and then instead of, it, it should say like uninstall, all the stuff you usually have, it'll say like uninstall, and then it'll say update. Click on update, and you should have this. You just go in your game, and everything should be here. And uh, as you saw before, I accidentally opened Block Launcher, and so yeah, Block Launcher does not. Um, block launcher does not work for this update, so it doesn't look like there will be any uh, 0 0.14 mods until the the official release. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and like for more. Um, there will be more videos like this in the future as long as they make some beta builds, some more of them, fix some of these bugs, and I'll review it. Thanks for watching. And bye.